Okay. Hello everybody, welcome back. Woohoo! Elden Ring is finally here. My name is Commander Kreis. Now, I wasn't going to do a playthrough of this, but a couple of you guys on the Discord um, said videos already didn't happen. Um, so I thought, you know what, why not? Certainly for the first couple of hours I'll put up for you. Um, I am very much a fan of the Dark Souls series, right from Demon Souls on the PS3. I played thousands of hours of, um, of Dark Souls 1, both on the Xbox and the PC when it came on to Steam, and the reimagined version. Obviously you've got Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3 as well. So I am very, very, very au fait with uh, Bank, uh, Bandai Namco Souls-like games, and I absolutely love them. They are one of my favorite series ever created. That and Dead Space and a few others. Um, so let's get into it. We're going to do a new game. I'm going to do my usual sorcerer type build. Now, I was having a look at these classes uh, for quite a while, and the only one I could find that was any sort of decently I mean this guy starts with a staff and magic spells um, so I generally wanted to choose this one and there wasn't any others I mean we've got vigor uh, so a paladin build I guess strength uh, sorry dexterity so a rogue each type build we've got uh, strength a warrior um, this one I was thinking about, so you've got high arcane, high dexterity, so very bowish, but I was thinking maybe they've got fire spells, maybe, I don't know. Um, and then intelligence really, really high on this one, um, but I don't know what that item is that they're holding on the, the, so the first item. They've got the sword and the shield and a torch, I guess, or whatever that is. Um, but they've got really high intelligence, and high mind and I was thinking maybe it's a sort of faithy type build but this is a faith build so I wasn't sure but this one uh, so you've got dexterity there so bows and stuff you know and, and maybe the jack of all trades one here uh, and another faith build one there but this one actually starts with a staff and a spell and so I was thinking let's just start with that one because spells are awesome Whatever fucking spell. Okay. Uh, so that's male or female. I was tempted with female. But it seems I put my name on there, I might as well. Now, keepsakes. I was reading a little bit of this uh, and what they generally tend to suggest. So I'll go through. And so this one in, uh, increases HP. Um, the golden grace shining lights of eyes of people and lands between. Uh, so runes are essentially souls. Uh, the, the sort of currency, I think. I think. Um, fanged imp ashes. No idea what that is. Cracked pot. A container for throwing items. Not too fussed about that. Two stone keys shaped like swords. Uh, so break seals on imp statues, which are, are littered throughout the game. Not too fussed about that now. Uh, beguiling power. I've wonder if this is like a shape-shifting type thing like uh, the branches of yore in Dark Souls 3. Uh, boil prawns, so boost physical damage neg negation. Not too fussed about this because there's only five of them. That means it's, you know, not permanent. You use it and then it's gone. And uh, Shabiri's Woe attracts enemy aggression. So the only thing I can think is actually quite useful here is the Reinforce the Sacred Flask, which are the Estus Flasks of the Dark Souls world. I like the loner because he is a very sorceress type. And we'll give him dead skin. Um, what I did want to do is... Oh, that's a shame. I mean, yeah, red's cool. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, start with that character. Banging. So, yeah, as I said, I wasn't going to do a playthrough of this, but you guys asked me for it, so um, here it is. I don't know whether I'm going to do all of the playthrough on video, but uh, on the channel, but certainly... 
you know, important videos like boss fires and things like that, maybe. I don't know, if you want it all, let me know Before in the comments below. Leave, tell a story. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. their newfound strength triggered the shattering. Nasty. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Othmir, the all knowing. They're the bosses, I guess. And one other whom Grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Well, that'd be me then. Across the fog, to the lands between, to stand before the Elden Ring, and become the Elden Lord. Okay, so it's a little bit of poetic justice. I mean, in the first game, uh, as in Dark Souls 1, you start off as a prisoner. Um, so I'm quite happy to start off as a prisoner in this one. Now, for those of you that don't know this game and how punishing and brutal it really is. So, new, the ring. Crazy old ring. Rated poor. Because that's rubbish. Okay, so equipment. Let's have a look. Uh, with the equipment menu, equipment armaments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all this. Memory of Grace. Lost all runes. Retired to the last. Oh, okay, so that's basically the Dark Soul. So yeah, we start with a Glintstone staff. We also start with. Um, 
uh, a spell, which you can see here. Gestures. That's the pouch. Inventory, what have we got? Go away. Increase sacred flowers number of uses. Yeah, so that's going to be quite useful. So create a single, f uh, create a sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after delay. So, magic missile, essentially. Okay, so let's have a look around the place. Read these messages. Time for the Elden Ring. Mm, go away. First off, good luck. Actually, that one. Yeah, I thought that mean. Good luck. Definitely good luck. In fact, I wonder... No, we can't do messages yet. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a game with that hidden path ahead, but not. Tarnished Wizen's Finger. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, used to write messages. Shove that there. <laughs> Do we have praise the sun? Come on. Praise the Elden Ring. I wonder what happens if you get um, if you get uh, appraised. Like in the old, I think in the old games, like Dark Souls 1, you'd get um, a reinforcement of your, of, or, or some of your empty flasks would come back. Okay. Chapel of Anticipation. Oh, we've got a rapier type weapon. Uh, we also have... Okay. Treasure chest ahead. Nope, not applaud. Christ, people are dying already. Kidding. Oh, I'm touching the bloodstain, but I don't see anything. I wonder if they followed that guy's advice and gone down into the. <laughs> okay, there's. Yeah. There's clearly... Oh, what's this? <sighs> Offer jumping then death. Yeah, for sure. Nothing to kill yet. That's quite unusual. Ah! So here's the thing, right? Now, you're not going to ever know whether something is a hidden path or not. Because the, the Dark Souls games were quite good, eventually, uh, with telling you where secret passages were. But if you've got, if you've got this sort of thing... So run is no longer, it's now B. And roll is also B. Okay, so we're going to have to get used to that. How do I think it's my hole? 
I love it. We're going to praise that one. Okay, so we've got the map as well. Yeah. Obviously not very useful yet. See the shadow of people. All these So yeah, I, there's probably not really an awful lot around here. I could probably just move on, but uh oh. Uh oh. Uh okay, one thing I do want to do. Ah, they blocked me off. No way of beating him. Not with that equipment, anyway. Well, the screen's blank, so... What the hell? I wonder if that's meant to happen. If you're meant to die there. Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. even if it does violate the Golden Order. Firekeeper's voice. Sounds exactly like the Firekeeper, in fact. I feel like we missed a bit with that blank screen, though. Okay, cross uh, flask of crimson tears and flask of cerulean tears. It's very dark. Ghost. Brave Tarnish, take the plunder. Okay, I will, just give me a minute. Oh, okay, so you can hold the Y button and the direction buttons. That's quite handy. It is really dark. I can't see a goddamn thing here, which is intentional. Oh, someone's been trying to get jumps up there. Okay.
Oh, we made it. Honestly, I thought I was going to die there. Silence of Grace, resting it as a bonfire. Resting at a bonfire will restore your HP and FP and cleanse uh, stales of salmons. Uh, refill sacred fast, however, most of your enemies you've defeated will be revived. So, yeah, general Dark Souls stuff. Bonfire activated. You're an enemy. You know, the one thing I do need to do. of him not to move. You can memorize sorceries and incantations at sites of grace. You must have stuff equipped to cast sorceries or secret seals equipped to cast incantations. Fine. We only have the one. Okay, let's do some good old-fashioned yeah, yeah. Ah, we do have... Okay, let's see if that works too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, try again. That's not gonna work. The fact that you've got jump in this is ridiculous. Oh, I've got something for you. Right, will it target him now he's moved? Yes, so it does target them. It doesn't just go to the place where they were. That's handy. Hi, mate. Acquire materials. So, fruits and flowers, mushrooms, butterflies, various other materials. Okay. Now I'm wondering if I've missed a whole bunch. Touch blood stain. Uh, well, that doesn't do anything at the moment. At least not that I can see. Oh, we have a... Sh yeah, yeah. Backstab, let's see if we can do that. People have died here, you can see. Losers. Bunch of losers. Uh, so. Ah. Oh. to work very well. At least not with this shield. So there's loads of people dying all over the place, you big bunch of losers. Maybe falling off or something. Uh, skills. 
Uh, so armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills of various... Ah, okay. So now I'm wondering... Get rid of that. Put that there. that there then. But I wonder... Okay. Crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you causes more damage. Okay, let's try that. Fifty on top, I guess. Stance breaking. Some attacks break enemy stances, giving you a chance to perform the critical hit. Hold RT, charge attack. Okay. RT while jumping for jump attack. Ooh. But different weapons will give diff, 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 different effects. That's fine. Stakes of Marika. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last grace you visited. However, there is a stake of Mara near where you died. You choose to revive there instead. Okay, so... So because this is more open-worldy than uh, Dark Souls, they've got various save points rather than, you know, the different uh, bonfires for each area that you have. It's... You know, you've got these as well. Traverse the mist. Oh, I don't really want it. That means I'm going to die in there. Is there any way I can get my F FP back? Guess not. This guy's gonna kick my ass. Oh, okay, maybe not. Nah, that'll teach you. Well, he was scary for no good reason. <laughs> Loads of people have died though, look, look at all the bloodstains everywhere. Every single one of them a loser. I say that, I'm going to die a lot in this game, just not quite as much as everybody else. Yeah, can't get through there, that's fine. Oh, is that something I see over there? No. Okay. I keep confusing the crouch with the run, by the way. So if you see me crouching for no good reason, um, it's because I'm wanting to run instead. With Dark Souls 3, you hold the uh, left, left, that button. Change those. Multiplayer. Uh, with multiplayer, you can use various multiplayer items. 
Group passwords, messages, summon signs, blah blah blah. Okay. okay. Switch and remove. Okay, so we've got bow, wave, I'm happy with that, point forward. Yeah. Jump for joy. Rally cry, let's switch that out. Get the ring. And rest. So let's try. Let's get rid of that. What else we got? <laughs> Wait. Wait. I do love that the uh, the menus in here. That's quite handy. Okay, time to leave. Right, I did what you told me. I killed the other guy. Do you give me anything for it? Take the plunge. Yeah, I did that. Of learning and remembrance. Ah, uh, use the stone sword key. No. Well, we haven't got one. Oh, we have got one. Oh, no, we have got one. I did wonder if it was going to let us. Let's rest. Okay, so I've only got two... Use sacred tear. Got any? Add charge. Yes. Add a charge. Excellent. Allocate fasts. Uh, three and two. Okay. Um. for now. I wonder what you get from these things. Tarnish Fell's finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have summoned the player from another world. You will take the role of an ally. And your objective is to defeat the area boss. Sends one home. Okay, that one we'll put here. That one we'll put here. Okay, it's a summon sign. Okay. And they've got the... which they added in... I can't remember which game it was, but if you... if you want to get back to the first you just hold down the down directional button that was something that didn't come along until I think the second or third game but it was a stroke of genius as as ooh it's dark ok let's get up there are going to be some hidden paths that we oh man that's a hidden path right there I want to see what that is Unless I'm going to die horribly. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe I 
was wrong. Oh, okay, it was that that made me think that there was a path. Okay, fine. Could this be a message? Honestly. There I am, wanting to run again, but crouched. First off, lift. <laughs> and he did as well. And there we are, the outside world. God damn. Honestly, I have no idea where I'm doing or where I'm going. God damn it. Well, he dropped something. Let's go and find out what. Flight pinion. What's one of them? Maybe it's like the... Uh, oh, no idea. Crafting items. Okay. So, kill birds for crafting stuff. Gotcha. That's crafting items there. Arteria leaf. Do you know what? Being able to jump in a Dark Souls game is odd. It's just weird. Gotta love the view, though. Dang. There should be a praise the sun message right here. See what they've got. Concepts. God, there's so many. They really have gone all out here. Massive wall just embedded in the ground. Love it. Someone died here. Grace exists to guide Tarnish and lead them along the, uh, the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along the way. Oh yeah, you can see. That way. See that? That tower there. Okay, cool. Oh 
yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of I course have, as a matter of fact. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Well, I'm going to die a million times, mate, so... Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maiden. Enemy over there. Me. Vare. Take care to listen. Well, you look Are a bit of a state, mate. With grace. The golden light that gives life to you, Tarnish. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance to castles, the home of the decrepit oh, okay, cool. demigod, Godric. The drafted. It's time you set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Okay, cool. He's not really going to tell us anything. Is he going to give us it's anything if we finish? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Sometimes NPCs will give you something if you talk to them long enough. Probably just to get you to get lost. Grab that. Uh, so, in each area you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations. There's a carp on hostile summoning size created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Oh, we got something too. Send a carp sign. Okay, that is going there. a random skull laying on the ground. Ha! <laughs> Got him. I don't know if I want to mess with this guy. I don't want to mess with him. Whoa! Definitely not. Move, move, move. I'm sorry, mate. I apologise. Forgive my insolence. Yeah, you better run. We'll come back for you. Oh, you're kidding. All right, never mind. Let's go and check this out. 
Man, being able to jump is so odd. Ruin fragment. That's quite a large human skull. More birds. Sheep. Okay, let's head up towards here and see what happens. What are these? See where the grace is going? Look at that. Oh, Santa Claus. You've taken me to go and see Santa. Spend runes to strengthen your armaments. Okay. So you can strengthen your armor, it's up to plus three. So a blacksmith will make it even stronger, okay. Additional items required, smithing stone, okay. Ah, Chris Kringle, hi mate. Tarnished. I can see it, and I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, trader, purveyor of fine goods. They're worth a hundred. Reveals co-op and... T oh, I need that. Uh, do you have any spells? Crafting repertoire. No, no sorceries. I am of a nomadic people. Selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Uh, recommendation. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. Crafting kit, 300. We have 600. All right then, fine. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. Okay, so you need crafting bolts and other containers to craft certain side bombs and that sort of thing, I'd imagine. What is it? Grab the torch as well. 
So through your map you can instantly travel. Okay. This is just the first part of the map. And it wants us to go that away. Okay, I can dig that. Cool. Let's uh, replenish our stuff first because we're fairly low on things. As in health and their feet and that sort of thing. I love it. You can pass time, flask, moment of sort, chest. So I'd be willing to bet at certain times of day you'll find certain monsters, so at night time things are going to get, like, really ugly. <sighs> Do you know what, I really want to change the button to run to what it is in Dark Souls 3, but I'm going to hold off on doing that for now. Plenty of things to pick up along the way. Oh, look at that. Golden rune. Small number of runes. Fire, but hole, okay. Well, I don't need fire, I've got magic. The fact that you can do that is amazing. I absolutely love the way that you can do magic now. Oh man, that is amazing. Just whack a whole bunch of them off and just let them fly. That's wicked. That is really good. I am absolutely loving that. Yeah, apart from it drains your magic. Let's come if we need rower fruit. Uh. 
Bank of Shinnok group will replenish your flasks. A number of flask types can be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. Is this a little off the beaten path? Seek friend. Beware of hole. Okay. Let's just see what's in here first. Well, the webs sort of give it away for a start. Yeah, and I think we'll rest here. I need a thousand, I really need to see co-op. A proper death means returning to the Erd tree. Have patience until the time comes all and the roots call to you. Is that it? Is that all you got? Yep, that's all you got. Be wary of left. I know that's right, but I'm having a look anyway. <laughs> there he is. Uh, what I am also going to do is swap that for whoops, not that one, that one. Very important to keep a tidy bar. A lot of enemies don't like fire either. Uh huh. Yeah, not yet. Big back scary doors? No, not yet. Be wary of up. Love the fact that it tracks. Oh, hello. I absolutely love this class. Secret ahead, therefore, try to piss off. Oh, I upset something there. Oh no, it's dead body. Okay, good. See the bow guy here as well. That's pretty cool. Wouldn't mind a bow class as well. Ambush ahead. We're wary of right. Do you know what? Little 
sod. Come in here. One, two, three, four. What on earth is that? That means the voice that says hello. Time with this one. One, two, uh. land up there. Yeah, this this ducking thing is doing my head in already. if you won't come to me. First time I've died, though, I think. Apart from the time when you can't help it. Oh, look at that. It's got little tips. I keep... It, it's the run button. It's driving me mad. Don't need that. these come back too. So you can farm stuff. Find a place with expensive stuff and farm it. I know there's a guy here. And the thing is, you can't change it because it's also roll. So you can't change the button because they've put run as the same button as roll. That's hella annoying.
Magic is the most fun it has ever been, by the way. After five, six games, they've got it down to a T. Why are you coming down, you little turnip? Come on. Standing here and letting them all come will probably be a good idea. Alright, come on you look. Feed torrent will store HP. Oh, they're like the pebbles in Dark Souls. Okay, cool. We do have that black scary door to go into, but let's just see where this leads first. Oh, you little tosser. past that first one because there was another floor once before you jumped down there was another floor to get to will you guys follow me oh they do bleeding damage that's crap How far do they follow you? Oh crap. Nope, 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 nope. Now follow me, you little shit. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, down there, I want to see if there's anything to pick up. Summoning spirits. Uh, so with a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. You can only summon one spirit at a time. Oh yeah, I remember this. Okay. Wandering nobles. Let's... Um Absolutely love that. That's so good. See if you got retreat a teeny bit. So nice. Okay, let's go and see what's in the black door. Although my health and whatnot are low, black door's not this way. That's a boss fight. Yep, let's go and heal up first. Anyone stupid enough to go through there <laughs> without healing up deserves what they get. Back to normal. Excellent. Straight shot, straight to the boss. Oh, okay. Cheese the shit out of this. Ow! Ah, son of a 
son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Okay, try that again. And just lay waste with the with the spells. I'm even considering putting one more into the spells and taking one out of health. First things first though, pick up body. Typical has to be all the way over there, doesn't it? Okay, I'll take back what I said about the healthy. God damn, it's got a hell of a range. God damn it. He's definitely beatable. God damn it. Son of a bitch. And I'm not going to call for help on it either. about dodging at the right time. Yeah, right there. If he stands up, expect... Sorcerer Ashes. No idea what that is. Return to entrance. No. Absolutely not.
now, let's see if someone will um, offer their help. Or should I say... Small garden liberty, turn this around. So let's read what these things do again. Sends a co-op sign to summoning pods. Creates a summoning sign for co-op multiplayer. Yep, that's the one we want. Let's see if someone will summon us in. Uh, we'll go and rest for now. She reminds me of the chick that's um, at the main hub in Dark Souls 3, the one on the, the one in the chair. Summoning sign's still there. I can't believe no one's even already. You are being summoned. <laughs> and we know how to lay waste to this boss. I wonder if you get anything for doing co-op. Yeah, so totally gonna be trying that again though. So the tarnished furled finger is the white soapstone, essentially. And I do love the effect that you basically put it in like little stones on the floor. That's really cool. Rather than, you know, just a sign on the floor as it were, it's actual stones. That's really good. They're sticking with the whole runes motif. That's three souls. Did they drop anything, I wonder? No. Okay. Just in case I lose my summon sign. Yep, that didn't take long. If you use a white cipher ring, you automatically request hunters from another world. Ooh, white cipher ring. I prefer the hello from the other games, but it'll do. Oh, he got host finger, furloughed fingers. Okay. Two magicians.
Yeah, I saw that. His head turned. See that? so good man that is so so good I am loving it okay let's rest up Do you know what, actually? I think that would be a nice place to leave it. Um, I need to feed my cats and stuff, but I'll be pretty much straight back with a new episode, so... I'm going to continue playing this, so I just need to go for a bio break and stuff, but... Episode 2 coming straight, straight at you. Thank you very much for everybody, uh, for watching the video, everybody. That was so much fun. I am loving this. I'm getting a good vibe from it already. I can see I'm going to be spending a lot of time playing this game. This is Commander Crace, signing off.